So the pilot project this weekend, um, this is where it starts for us. Um, me and my team are, are working hard and came up with the idea that we should like launch a test project and this test project is building up a composting toilet. We're going through all the stages of the, like, um, why we do it, why it's important, you know, we're going through the evolution of bacteria. So it's very educational as well and they're going to be designing their own sort of structure salvaging all the materials from the land that's what this is about this is about a sustainable resourceful enterprise that costs nothing um, my name's andrew or andy as yeah. i prefer huckster um, and i got involved with the land project um, just through the passion that shape sort of gave over to me really it was uh, and obviously my interest in sort of being self-sufficient and, and the future and sort of I don't know, I'm say the right way of living, but like sort of a more healthier and a little bit more of a, a living that you give back and take what you need sort of thing. I mean, definitely before I got into it, I was a bit scared of it because, you know, it is a life and you don't want to go around killing stuff or doing things wrong, do you know what I mean? But it's how we've always lived our life up until the last couple of hundred years, so I don't see why we can't easily transform back to it because that's where we've come from. Right? And I think I'd like to sort of pave the way or show people how to get there, you know what I mean? Or give someone a place to come and try it out at least. <laughs> The philosophy of the One Love Foundation in a nutshell, uh, I would say it's about growing together, um, learning, strengthening our communities. So for me, this is now becoming my back garden, and <laughs> that's how I think we all see it. Hello, I'm Liam. <laughs> I've been working with young people for the, first, for the last sort of six months. A lot of the young people that I meet in the sort of work that I do is uh, very, very arty and you know, see themselves in very creative roles in the future. What we really want to do is home in on young people's skills. Like I say, guide them into a role that suits their sort of skill base. So we've got the fruiting body and the mushroom there. Where would they have come from? The final aim of the pilot project is to build a compost toilet. Um, but it's not just that, it's the process of getting to that point. And, and of course, with, with this pilot project, hopefully we can, we can take it forward, show people that we're active and to be outdoors and learn about a different way of living, something that should be the future. Nephane, where's Nephane? What did we say about Nephane a second ago? It was quite interesting actually to see all the kids uh, taking part and, and realising that poo is actually quite useful. <laughs> poo is very useful. What excites me the most is that we're going to be able to use the toilet. <laughs> use the compost in two years' time to, to grow trees. You know, it's the cycle of life. Nothing's wasted, nothing's lost. to sort of access it and use it on the land and uh, yeah waste has become not waste it's actually more useful <laughs> With young, working with young people that are currently not in education, employment or training and the various programmes we have on the go are, are a means to uh, connect with young people, like I said, to realise their potential uh, and lead them into uh, education and training in the future. Because I mean, I never had anything like this at school. I know most of the children here have never had this kind of experience before. Teaching sustainable living to me is something that should be a part of education. If we make a difference with just one child and that one child goes and lives a, a different kind of life then we're successful. Uh, surveying the scene, um, um, supervising. We're trying to get, we're trying to achieve a meter. That means there should be enough room for the stuff. Cuminure. 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 The main programme 
we've got running this summer would be the uh, festival coming up on July 23rd. We really want to get some young people involved in that, in the, the whole process from setting up, marketing, advertising, site management, right through to the actual festival itself. I've always been deemed as sort of not as academic or not as much as I can achieve. Over here it's not about all of the, the grades and the education and the, we need to improve because of Ofsted and because of money and government and whatever else it should be we need to improve for us and the land and where we live in it. <laughs> uh, being able to be a part of the process itself as opposed to being told how it works is the most engaging way to learn. When you've got a group of people coming here they don't look down on it, doesn't tell them we're rubbish, you know, we all see each other as equal. So there's a mutual respect straight away.